Hey there, everyone, and welcome. My name is Lisa of Energy Gal Meditations, and it is so awesome to meet you in this space. Uh, thank you for joining me. I just wanted to hop on to give you a bit of an encouragement in this uh, on this beautiful day where I'm listening to the birds chirping and it is so green outside. It is really amazing. Mother Nature is outdoing herself this year. Um, be yourself. Be your most authentic self. When people say to me, what is the most powerful thing that I can do? I'll say to them, find out who you are and then be that. Find out who you are. Remember, discover who you are and then be that. Be that out loud and proud without a chip on your shoulder. Just be that. Be your most authentic self. And you know, that's a journey for so many of us. My gosh, I just turned 59 a couple of days ago, and I'm just waking up to remembering who I am. I'm discovering all sorts of facets of myself that I didn't even know were in there. And I'm able in that space then to discard a lot of things that I thought I was, that I'm like, oh wow, that was just more people pleasing. Oh, wow, that was just more fear of being rejected. Oh, that was just more fear of being abandoned. That was just more lies that I had listened to and believed were my truth. And I can let them go now. Less and less and less fear and more and more and more love. You know, there's this uh, saying, and I don't remember who, maybe it was Marianne Williamson, and she said, be yourself, everybody else is taken you know, be your most authentic self. I want to tell you a story that just happened last night. And um, there's a group of us getting together for a retreat in the next few days. The one who is leading the gathering, she's the one organizing it all. But she got on there to tell everybody, you know, see, these are some of the parameters. We got a lot of strong personalities coming. So just honor each and every one of us. Here's when breakfast, lunch, and dinner is. Here's some of the meals that we've got planned. And so everybody come ready to offer and just kind of unpacked a little bit here and there. Very serious. And um, so everybody's responding, oh, that's so great. Thanks for everything that you're doing. Awesome, this and that. Well, one of the girls responds with something like, oh, who are we kidding? This is all bullshit. It's all a cult and I'm the leader. And she goes on and she starts laughing. It was incredibly inappropriate. Well, I can tell you, I laughed my butt cheeks off. I thought it was hilarious because I have just off-center humor. And so I immediately wrote back. I said, this was good for a belly laugh. Thank you so much for sharing that off humor. It was so funny. I laughed for a half hour about it. Well, the girl responded and she said, you know, I've wanted to respond for the past couple of hours to the post. And every time I wanted to respond, I was responding with this kind of funny, inappropriate humor that just made me giggle. And I thought, have it. I am just going to say it. It's my most authentic self. Well, in being her most authentic self, she really touched my funny bone. And I was so glad that she shared it, that not only was she understanding, this is my most funny self, this is just me, this is my authentic me, but that in the space of that, she shared that most authentic self with everybody. Even if she's like, oh, what if this offends somebody? Well, I'll tell you, it may have, but it touched my funny bone. And I was so glad because in her space of being authentic, I realized there are times that I hold myself back, so afraid I'm going to offend somebody. So, uh, what, tripping over my own self to make sure that I'm not offending somebody, that I'm not actually being who I am. So by her being who she was, she gave me permission to be who I am. And so I just want to give you permission to be who you are, because who you are is exactly what the world is needing right now. And I'll end it with this quote by Anai Nin. She says, and the day came when the risk to remain tight in a bud was more painful than the risk it took to blossom. I'm telling you what, it is time for us to be blossoming. Blossom away, because that is exactly what it is that the world needs right now, your most authentic self. 
And if I can help you be on that journey, just click any of the links below. And thank you so much for joining me in this space. And I wish you the most peaceful weekend. Take care, everybody.